Welcome to Skincare Queen. In this experimental video, we're going to show you different essential oil. We're going to test the smell and the color. In another video, we're going to examine each essential oil one by one and we're going to tell you the benefit and how they will, you know, help your skin. The first on my leave is Neroli. Neroli is a 3% dilution in jojoba oil. It's a very, very beautiful uh, essential oil. So first I'm going to we're going to check the color, the color of Neroli oil. Neroli oil, as you can see, is light yellow. And the smell is floral. It has a floral, amazing, soothing floral smell. The next is pepper black. It's colorless, it's like water color. It smell more like grass. Amazing. It said pepper black, but it smell more like grass. The smell is not that bad for people that like like uh, lemon grassy smell, you will like the smell of uh, pepper black. It's colorless and it has a uh, pepper black smell. The next essential oil we're going to consider is ginger. Obviously, because it's ginger, we expect it to smell like ginger, isn't it? So let's first test the smell. It doesn't smell more like ginger. It smell, so it's yellow, more yellow than neroli oil. The smell doesn't smell like ginger. It's just like grass. Amazing, isn't it? Okay, so let's move on to the next one. The next one is bergamot essential oil. Deep yellow, the color is deep yellow. It has a woody smell. It's actually soothing, but it's woody. The next is lime essential oil. Amazingly, it smells more like refined lime. So let's check the color. Also water color. Okay, the color is there, it's water color. The next one I'll is Mar Egyptian. Very expensive and very rare essential oil from Egypt. Let's check the smell. The color is deep yellow, more deep than other ones have. And it doesn't even have any smell. Amazing, right? Isn't it? It doesn't have any smell. Amazing, amazing. The next essential oil on our list is Gilang Gilang essential oil. We expect this to be floral because Gilang Gilang is a uh, Gilang Gilang floral water is uh, is one of the most uh, popular floral water we use in skincare. So let's check the smell. More floral, I mean romantic floral smell. So if you love romantic uh, floral smell, you will love uh, Gilang. So let's check the color. Also light yellow, romantic light floral smith. Amazing for those that love uh, floral smell. The next is geranium essential oil. The color is light yellow also and it smells like flower. It smells like flower, almost like a chamomile flower. So if you love chamomile flower, then you're going to love geranium essential oil. The next is patchouli essential oil. Let's check the color. Also deep, deep, deep yellow. Soothing 
floral lovely smell amazingly amazing amazing uh, essential oil for those that love love isn't it amazing you love love the next one is grapefruit white essential oil. there are two different type of grapefruit there's grapefruit uh, i think pink and there's grapefruit uh, white so let's check out this grapefruit white smell it doesn't have any smell i expect it to have a uh, grapefruit smell isn't it it doesn't and it's light yellow <sighs> it doesn't really have any definitive smell but it's more like fruit the next is lavandine lavandine essential it's not that popular it's not that but it's it's a great essential oil wow it's woody light woody smell it has light woody smell and the color is colorless very good it's more suitable for making body care products wow we still have a lot way to go guys carrot seed essential oil we expect it to smell like carrots so let's check the color first also deep yellow doesn't smell anyway like carrot guys so it's amazing how this essential oil you know tricks us so let's get to the next one the next one i'm examining is juniper berry essential oil don't worry don't worry guys i'm going to take this one by one I'm going to create a video on them on how you can benefit you know from them what you can use them for next uh, essential oil in our uh, experimental smell video is juniper berry essential oil also light uh, woody smell no color whatsoever the next on our list is majoram essential oil not that popular but let's check the smell and the color no color and it smells also light woody smell the next on our list is fennel essential oil also no color watercolor beautiful floral scent next is chamomile roman we have two chamomile here. We have chamomile Roman and chamomile blue. So we accept, expect both of them to have different color, right? So we're going to check the Roman version first. Light yellow. Oh, it's amazing chamomile smell. Very calming. So that chamomile Roman has amazing chamomile smell and it's calming. Chamomile blue, 3% dilution in jojoba oil. So we expect something bluish, right? So let's give it a try. So blue. Amazing, because it's diluted in jojoba oil, so it's more deep, you can see the color is more deep. And it smell, it doesn't smell any like chamomile oil. The smell is completely different from the Roman chamomile oil because it's diluted so we expect it to be a bit thicker and that's what we see here so the smell I can't tell you exactly what it smells like it doesn't really have a definitive smell it just smell like leaf be careful when using chamomile blue it will stain your product so be careful be careful if you have to use it just use a little bit not less than zero point not more than 0 0.5 let's go for cypress cypress in Egypt okay let's check the smell I don't know it, it smells like soup <laughs> i'm using how this uh, essential oil just changed the it smells like soup like like chicken soup <laughs> you know if, if you formally think your product you love how this uh you know they are very concentrated highly concentrated so it's this one smells like my chicken soup <laughs> okay let's move on to the next one now the next one you're going to be seeing going to be seeing bigger bottles 
rose bulgarian diluted in three percent jojoba oil so we expect it to be a bit thicker because of jojoba oil you can see more thick huh yeah i smell this one smells exactly like rose Just stay tuned, stay tuned. If you stay with me, if you want, if you want to be working with essential oil, this video is going to help, help, help. I have a lavender essential oil, but I, I have three types. So I expect the three types to smell differently, right? So let's go for, the first one is lavender 4042. The second one is lavender Alba albania. And they have the original lavender, which is uh, the organic one. So let's start with the 4042 light color it smells like lavender it's the, the smell is unique 4042 the smell is unique I love 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 this it's unique so let's go for lavender Albania also a bit uh, darker than the lavender 4042 a bit you can see a bit uh yellowish right so let's smell uh, also different from lavender 4042 but it smells also beautiful you can see the trace of lavender in all of them now the unique usda organic one also light color the smell is coming, it's so original, that's all I can say about this one. That's all, it can, it's coming, not overpowering like the rest, but it's more, the laven this lavender is more calming. Let's go for tea tree oil. Tea tree oil is one of the best oil for uh, using in your diffuser or if you want to make face product for uh, acne peoples and uh, breakouts. Very, very good oil, antibacterial oil white yeah it smells like tree isn't it amazing it smells like tree so we have just smile these are the best romantic essential oil uh, to use especially if you want to surprise you know your love uh, your sweetheart so it's let's check the smell just mine as always romantic isn't it light light yellow because it's diluted in jojoba oil so we expect that yellowish color that's just mine it's uh smell lovely romantic it changed the tone of everything that's just mine for you so the next is winter green this essential oil it's not that popular it's not that used that i think it's because of its uh woody smell we can use this in uh in skin in uh, in soap making we don't use it in soap making but we will find out about the use later on so we expect it to be red yeah you see that red that's winter green essential oil soothing 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 woody smell it's red soothing woody smell and that's winter green essential oil let's go for old wood I know you mustn't have heard about it before. It's not that popular, but it's very, very good uh, essential oil for making food uh, products. It's woody, highly woody in water and, and no color whatsoever. It's woody smell. It's not overpowering, so it's just all wood for you. Let's go for Elite Crescent. It's also called uh, Live Everlasting. So this is used to make our anti-aging product for sure. Uh, it's used um, uh, with Neroli, so it's Neroli's best friend. Okay. Now, because it was it was diluted in the in jojoba oil, we expect it to be yellow also. So, no surprise, light yellow, right? So no surprise. No definitive smell, but it's more in the floral family, right? That's. Ellie Crisson. If you haven't heard about it, Live Immortal is very good for making anti-aging product. Frankincense. Uh, frankincense sometimes is used to embalm cups. <laughs> isn't that... Isn't that... Eesh? But hey, 
we use this for anti-aging product okay it makes the skin radiant it brings the younger you so frankincense it may not be the best smell in the world but it's very very it's very very amazing let's check the color no color woody just a light woody smell <coughs> orange sweet right orange we expect it to have orange color right let's check it orange 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 yeah yeah it's yeah it's orange and it smells like orange i just feel like taking this now i don't know it's essential oil i can't have it but it's, it's orange orange in a bottle that's orange sweet essential oil uh be careful with this essential oil they, they can make your product uh, to give uh, make your products you know turn make your product sound sensitive yeah so be careful if you have to use it uh because of photosensitivity okay the product will be more will make your customer skin more sensitive to the sun so be careful when using this we'll cover that later on let's say kubeka it's mainly used for making soap yeah because it's very overpowering also we can use it to make skincare pro we'll re review that later on. now let's check the color light yellow heavily wooded woody smell cedar wood atlas let's go we have to rush through this light woody smell but it's very sweet mandarin sicily yeah mandarin like tangerine let's check deep yellow more like tangerine okay let's move on petit green watercolor the smell is just like a wood log amazing right peppermint essential oil we expect it to have a soothing smell isn't it so let's check the color no color yeah just like a mint peppermint oh peppermint just in my hand it's very good it's very good this peppermint is the best uh, essential oil to use for diffuser so if you have a diffuser at home this is what you want to use also you can use it to make because of the menthol in it you can use it to make food product uh, hair product and so on and so forth let's go for spearmint also very good uh essential oil for diffuser okay light on a white color and it smells like spearmint nothing 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 to it like spearmint lemon essential oil expect it to smell like lemon right so let's go no color light lemon smell basil also good for diffuser let's check the color no color just like basil leaf nothing to it let's go for the next rosemary no color beautiful rosemary flower smell thyme very good essential oil for diffuser also light yellow no surprise it smells exactly like thyme thyme leaf right lemongrass essential oil lemon lemon lemongrass essential oil light yellow it smells like lemon and grass just like that just just like that that's true lemon and grass smell eucalyptus globulus essential um antibacterial essential oil very good for the skin so let's check the smell oh it's camphorous it has high menthol content so it's very good for uh suiting for its suiting properties so you can use this for any product if you want a suiting effect you should use it but we'll, we'll examine that later blood orange essential oil from sicily so we expect it to be like blood isn't it let's check it blood orange 
this is going to stain any skincare product so be careful be careful when using it you can see from all the essential oil we've tested this is the last one and it's so deep 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 color it stains any skincare product it changes the color to a more yellowish color not blood but it's just it smells like orange deep deep orange smell and that's the end of our essential oil experiment do you know of any other essential oil i didn't mention in this video i have to rush through i don't want to waste your time i just want to know you to know how they smell but we're going to examine the essential oil one by one in another video i'm going to get tell you the benefits of how you can use them okay so beautiful 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 thank you so much for watching somebody asked me how many essential oil do you have i have the largest collection of essential oil in the world <coughs> because i make skincare products every day my essential oil collection keeps growing each passing day this is just a few from what i have uh, if you have not subscribed to the channel click the subscribe button and the notification icon to be notified when i upload new videos um all i do is skincare that's my lifeline that's my that's what i've dedicated over 18 years of my life to and that's what i do so my duty on this channel is to help you have beautiful and radiant skin so don't forget to click that subscribe button click the notification icon to be notified when i upload new videos if you have any question about this essential oil and other essential oil feel free to drop that in the comment box below thank you so much for watching